The fifth round of the UCI Women's World Tour was back in Belgium for the Ronde van Vlaanderen, and the question on everybody's mind was who could stop the Bulls Dolmens Express. The strongest challenge looked likely to come from Wiggle High Five, boasting last year's winner, Elisa Longoborghini, and runner-up, Julien Dor, as well as three-time podium finisher this year, Emma Johansson. InCycle took a special look at the team's Flanders experience, starting on the eve of the race as riders are fully briefed on tactics and topography, leaving no cobble unturned. We did we only did one race really bad, that was in Drenthe. There was a lot of miscommunication. Um, yeah, girls waiting for each other, not uh, uh, acting immediately. Yeah? The, the, the real split moments, and then the race is decided, and you have to be there, not, no hesitating. Boom, be there. I think they found the confidence back this week. That's most important. We had a presentation here. We were s several times on the course. Uh, Jolien and Emma are living in this area both. If you want to win Flanders, it's all about course knowledge. And the noise is there. And I think, uh, I don't see we're going to win tomorrow, but we will be close. We know what we have to do. We know our opponents. No excuses. Follow your heart. Follow the general tactic. Be focused. Yeah? And act when you have to act. Don't wait for me in the last 40k till I say something. Sometimes you have to act. Do it. And I prefer girls that decide something, or riders, then make no decisions. Yeah. And for every decision you make, I'm responsible. You can blame me. I don't care. But make a decision. If I'm not there, make a decision. Don't hesitate like in the races before. Go for it. Right? Yeah, right. Yes. Okay, girls, there's a breakaway group of four riders. As you can see, uh, let it go is not important for us. We still have uh, 60k to go. So I think the race will start in the 20k from now, really start. For us, it's really good because we have all the riders in the first group, and I'm happy with that. We have to try to drop uh, Lizzie. That's very, very important for uh, for us. If you want to have, if you want to win, we have to drop her. So try it on the next class. We're now uh, close before the, our quadrant, uh, the second last hill of the race. This is uh, the most important climb, I think, in, uh, in 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 Flanders. This is one of our last chances to to drop uh, fast riders uh, from the other teams. Elisa, as far as I know, the situation it is am I in the lead with Armistead? The only thing you can do now is wait for, an, uh, for the right moment for yourself or your loan to bridge the gap if you have the legs. Emma, you have a gap of 18 seconds, 80 seconds. The best thing you can do now is let uh, Lizzie do the, the longer turns. Eh? So let Lizzie do the, the longer turns. You understand? You still work a little bit with her, you still work with her, but this has the long turns. Emma Johansson coming round to the Swedish champion on the left hand side with the yellow helmet. It's the rainbow jersey on the right hand side. Armitstead, who's raiding the hit in the front again, but it's hard. It's Johansson who's in front. No, it's going to be a real sprint to the line. Armitstead's going to do it. Armitstead's there, and the rainbow jersey is there. It's so emotional to be here and do this race, and on every section you can hear your name, and I can hear Yulene's name, and it's like everyone is there to support us and I don't know it's just a pity we couldn't be on the top step today I think we really we would have deserved it we really did everything we could to be there we were beating only on the finish line and it was a little bit and, and they really uh, uh, struggled and fight you know and uh, the whole team was there when they have to be in the front so they did everything what I asked them to do yesterday and this morning and uh, yeah, if you if you are beaten then at the finish line and you tried really everything what what they did, yeah, that's uh, that's that's in the game. The highlights in the season, of course, are the UCI Women's uh, World Tour races. Um, until now, we didn't won, we didn't we could not win uh, these races, but we have so many more races. But it's it's it still will be a highlight. 
and I still believe that at the end of the season my team can be number one. So the Bowls Dolman's juggernaut remains unstoppable as Lizzie Armistead makes it five straight UCI Women's World Tour victories for the team. Chantal Black completed the podium behind Wiggle High Five's Emma Johansson. And with her third win, it's Lizzie Armistead who returns to the top of the UCI Women's World Tour rankings, replacing Chantal Black in the leader's jersey.